I've been working on this fence and I need to add this 4x4 here to help it be a little more strong. Well, in order to do that, I need to drill a hole into the concrete. And I decided I don't want to go and have to go into town and get a drill and drill it. So I decided to do it by hand with a hammer and chisel. Well, I didn't have a chisel that was the right size, so I ended up having to make a chisel, temper it, and then I used a bicycle pump to air it all out, which actually I think is a pretty good idea. Well, here's how I do it. Now I let this cool off for a little bit and you can see if it has any different effect. Seems to deform it slightly, but it's not too bad. Not sure how deep we'll get with this one. This is going really well, so I already had to switch out from this one to the shorter one because it's gone in so deep. And I think I can use this bicycle pump to blow out all the junk. Yeah, that's really nice. Much better than before. Oh, I just realized bicycle pumps sometimes have these little fittings for blowing up like rubber balls and stuff like that. Whoa! Oh, we've developed a slight bend. So I've finally gotten to the point where I can no longer use this, so that means it is seven centimeters down. Nice. Only three more to go. Ten centimeters. Look at that. I'm so happy about that. That was pretty fun. I think that's a pretty nice hole. Really clean. Although I've never really drilled into concrete before, I've only done that like one time back when I was like eight and I had a much bigger piece of metal and I was trying to drill down. I only got down about that far. But now I've gotten a lot further. It's pretty cool. And I don't think this thing is going to last anymore because this thing is starting to crack and stuff like that. So I think I maybe tempered it too much in the end. The end held up fine though. It, it just uh, starts to kind of chip away a little bit. That's what the end looks like. I was going to have an issue of it almost breaking here. Actually, I bet I could just break it off. Yeah, there's a bunch of cracks in there. Well, it did the job though, so that's good enough. And I am pretty amazed by how well this bike pump works. I haven't really thought about using it to clean up stuff. Now there is at least one very bad issue with my logic of doing this by hand, is because I'm going to have to go out and buy a anchoring bolt at the same place that rinse out the hammer drills and the bits. So I haven't saved myself any time, but I, I know I haven't. I can guarantee you, though, someday in the future, if I ever have to drill into concrete again, and I use a hammer, hammer drill, I am going to enjoy that thing and respect it so much. Because I bet that thing, I bet a nice hammer drill could do that in like 20 seconds, what it took me three hours to do. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya!
Wow, that is snug.